like this. The people look at me in all kinds of ways, probably so. But I tell you, the end result, five years from now, y'all gonna see TCL, and y'all gonna know. He told us five years ago he was gonna do this. Mm -hmm. And you probably gonna read about me. Dude, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen for me now to five years from now. I don't know. But one thing I do know is I'm not gonna give up on this. Right. Because I know God called me to do this. Right. And I know it's needed. I know it's, I know it's needed. I know because I was a kid in some of these kids' shoes. My daddy died when I was 13, AIDS. So when AIDS first hit the scene, nobody knew what AIDS, how you called it, how it, nobody knew anything. Yes. So we was going back and forth to the doctors for a long time thinking we could have AIDS. As a 13-year-old child whose daddy just died and you got to deal with this on top of that. That was rough. It was hard. But God got us through that. God got us through that. Oh. We need more role models. Positive role models. Not people who just say they do this or got a business and they think they're good. A lot of people get get to a certain point and they get content. And they stop helping. They stop having that drive and that passion. They got them to that place. They got that they got them that to that restaurant or that, that whatever they got. Okay, that driver got in there, they, they, they get there and they get content. And they, they get happy and they forget about everybody else that needs to come on. That's why I was saying we need to help each other. We need to help each other. As I grow, I want everybody else to grow with me. As I change, as I change this community, I'm going to. God called me to do it. And can't nobody stop. Me. So when I change this community, I want y'all to change it with me. When I change kids, when I get these kids and I change them and I get them and I grasp them and I, and I, by, the, by the game of basketball, we teach them it's a game that I'm, I, I just dangle in front of. Come on, let's go play this game that you love. And I get them in the gym, okay, why are you doing here? Let's talk about being men. Let's talk about being good character. Let's have a good character. Let's stop all of that. Let's do this. 2.5 or you can't play. And this is AAU. They don't even do this in school. So you gotta have a 2.5 and you cannot play because you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna do what it takes to play this. You're not playing the game. This, this, this generation is all about getting. They don't wanna work with it. We call it the, we call it the microwave generation. Oh, yeah. Stick the microwave, push your button there, and you don't have to work. You know, back in the day, you had to mash those potatoes. You had to peel them. You didn't go to the store, just grab a bag, go to the microwave, pop a glass of water, dump it in there, and there you go. You had to go get in the garden, pick it, clean it. You had to work for it. These kids today don't understand. You know? They don't understand. Um, and the last thing that, that, that I'm learning is God. You have to have God in your life. Yes. Without God, you're a lost soul. When I found him, I found myself. When I surrendered to him, I surrendered myself. And when I did that, I started living. That's all right. I was peaceful. I had all the money in the world. I was traveling the world. I had cars. I had everything. But I wasn't peaceful. I didn't have that peace that I have now. You can have all the money. I actually drove a navigator back to four. There was only four made like mine. Four made like mine in the USA. And I drove it right back to four. Because I was at a point in my life, materialistic things didn't mean nothing. I had to give it away. Mm -hmm. It hurt, it wasn't easy. It was my pride? Yeah. Check and check quick. Yeah. It was in check. But I do it all over again. Because what I have now, you can't buy. You can't replace, and you can't buy. Right. So they don't have